I'll let a few people jump on before we get started. Aaron, what's going on, Aaron? Daniel, what's happening? Stephen Miller. Where's Stephen Miller from? Stephen Miller's from uh, Dayton, Ohio. Okay. I used to work with a guy, Stephen Miller. Really? Dwayne, what's going on? Do Stephen, what's up, my brother? Bryn, pre please share and invite, guys. I'm going to have a, a quick conversation with a buddy of mine, Joshua Guillory. Yeah. He's about an hour, lives about an hour west of me. Correct. He's been in my program now for a while and he is killing it. He, he came to my house, sit down with me and kind of discuss some of his, um, you know, some of his wins, you know, and how he uh, was able to, to crush it. We got some, some checks for you guys to show you right here to, <laughs> to show you how much money he's making. So. Uh, Lewis, Bill, Crystal, Shannon, please share and invite. So guys, I'm gonna get started. Once again, this is Joshua. Hi guys. Guillory. He, uh, he got involved in my program, you know, probably, uh, I would say what, about six months ago? Or less? Four, four, probably four, a little less than six months. About four and yeah. a half? About four and a half? Per, yeah, about four and a half. I've probably been doing it for a little over three. Uh, you remember when I, when I first inquired with you, I had asked you to kind of, if I could wait about a month and a half so I could finish some other projects yep. and then we would hit it yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's so right. we've probably only really been hitting it hard for a few months, three and yeah. a half, maybe four times. Well, well, not to mention, he, you know, Joshua has a full-time job that he travels all over the right. South. Well, I did. Yeah. Yeah. I had a full-time job and I started being real successful with this. I had a job where I had to travel a lot. Uh, I wanted to spend more time with my family and just be around the house more. So... Uh, I heard about the wholesaling business, started inquiring it about it, and I've always been the type of person when I do something, I go all in. So naturally, I wanted the best person to coach me, so started doing a little research. Heard about Chris, uh, he's probably got the best program in the nation for coaching. So I gave him a call, talked a little bit, and then, and then got started with it. Awesome. Now, share some of your experiences with, you know, how you feel like, a, you know, was I there for you? Did you feel like you... Oh, definitely, definitely. I have absolutely no regrets about. I, I did the full mentorship with Chris, and uh, it's worked out wonderful. Uh, no regrets at all. Uh, you pretty much have them in your back pocket, and I, I can't take any of the credit for this, guys. I mean, he put, pretty much put me on the fast track to being successful at wholesaling. So now, did you know anything about? Did you even know what real estate wholesaling was? I did not. Yeah. Uh, I was into kind of flipping houses before. Right. Did a little bit of that on the side, had a few rental properties, uh, and that's about the most experience I had. I learned everything about wholesaling from yeah. from talking to you and having you ride around with me, me riding yeah. around with you, you know, so. And, and that's the beautiful thing, guys. He, he got my high-end program. He was able to come and hang out with me as much as he wanted. He would, how many times, you came with me probably three or four times and three came times, ride yeah. with me and on a, go on appointments yeah. and actually see how I talk to people, and, you know, in the flesh, right? Actually come with me on calls, you know, with motivated sellers and actually see it. There's no better experience as a mentor if you actually can shadow me, right? Or, or any mentor for that matter. And he was able to come and shadow me and he, and he really killed it. I mean, and he was doing this part time, right? With a full time right. job. I mean, you know, and he's got, we got three checks right here that he brought with him for social proof because I wanted, I said, dude, don't cash those checks. I want to show people because, you know, I want to. I want to show you guys what some of my students are doing. So we have one check right here. I don't know if you guys can see that the sun's, uh, let's see, we got a $27,000 check right here. Then we got a, what is that? That is a $20,000 check right there. And then we got a big one right here. A $33,000 check, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's that's actual, they're not all profit. Actual time yeah. put in in that is probably two and a half, three months of, of actual work, yeah. and uh, yeah, that's that's about it. About two and a half, three months of work yeah. right there. Now, with your regular job, and that that was that was part time. <laughs> that was I mean, part time. I had a full time. Had a full -time, you had a full -time, job. time job. Yeah, yeah. I was actually a safety manager for a big pipeline company, and I was traveling from South Texas all the way to uh, Mobile, Alabama you know, and everywhere in between for this company. So I was able to do this using the skills and, and the tools that Chris taught me 
part time within about two and a half, three months. Yeah. So. Well, you know, I tell everybody, you know, wholesaling is not hard. I mean, once I showed you how to do it, it's not hard. It's really what the hardest thing is. This is a people business. This is a relationship business. You got to know how to talk to people. Exactly. That, Chris, that's why I feel it's so important to be able to spend time with you. I mean, if you, the highest level you can get with Chris and, and learn from him is the best thing you can do because it's like, uh, you know, I was talking to my wife the other day and I said, you know, you can buy any program with Chris and he's going to give you the tools you need to be able to go out and wholesale and be successful at it. But what I wanted is I wanted to be really successful at it. So uh, there's an art to wholesaling. Yeah. It really is. And it's in, it's in the fine details. So if you can have this guy in your back pocket and you can watch his mannerism, you can watch how he talks to people, how he responds to people, and you can start mimicking that, all of a sudden you go from here to here in a short amount of time. You know. Skills get the deals, baby. Skills get <laughs> the deals. I tell all my students, this is it. You got to... It's all about communication skills. He who communicates the best is going to win. Correct. Simple as that. Right. Right. I mean, if, if you know how to talk to people and, you, and, you know, we're emotional creatures. I, I talk to, about, to my students all the time. You, you've got to know how to connect with people on an emotional level. And that's what I teach you. It's not just about wholesaling, guys. I, I can teach. There's a lot of people out there teaching wholesaling. I guarantee you they're not teaching the way I'm teaching. They're teaching you how to just market. I'm teaching you how to actually connect with people and communicate with people, like really communicate with people, like really freaking connect with somebody where they, like, they're like, man, I like this guy, like I really trust him, I want to do business with him. And that's kind of what I teach. It's not just about how you wholesale. I mean, I could, you know, every, there's, there's 20 gurus out there teaching how to wholesale, but I guarantee you they're not teaching what I'm doing. I mean, it's just the way that, that I, I show you know, I know he's came on appointments. You see how I talk to people. We spend some time with right. people. Like we don't yeah. just go over there and just like. I'm gonna spend more time with you. Yeah, and yeah. I wanna spend all the time I can because every time I ride around with you, I learn something. Yeah, every I mean, time, so. it, it's um, it, it really is a beautiful thing to be able to help people. You know, Josh has four kids, three. Yeah, four. Yeah, four. Josh, I, I have a, I have a couple of kids that I kind of took yeah. into. So. Mm -hmm. We got about six of them going on right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Josh yeah. can relate. You know, I have five children. You know, Josh has four and. It's so awesome to help people like this. You know, he's working a full-time job, you know, making decent money. But I mean, once again, like I tell you guys, he's trading his time for money. You know, you can trade another thing called value through real estate because you're not really trading your time for money, right? You're trading value by capturing equity and value out of a property, heavily discounted, and then flipping it to an end buyer, which is a cash buyer investor, and making a huge spread on it. For literally sometimes what an hour or two of work of yeah. worth of work and you yeah. can make 10 15 20 grand on two hours Easily. of work yeah. your job probably pays that right yeah right <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so man so you know it's just cool to be able to, to look i don't know why everybody in the whole country is not doing this i mean i shouldn't probably be talking like this because then i'm probably flood the market too many people want to do this but <laughs> anyway but look it's can any anybody do this i, I don't want to say anybody can do this i could say a lot of people can do this with the right skill sets if you learn the right marketing strategies, the right way to talk to people, and you have patience and you're persistent with your marketing and your efforts toward the business, you're gonna, you, know, you, you can make a lot of money doing this. But it, I'm not gonna sit there and tell you it's easy. It's not easy, but it's not that hard either, Josh. Would you say it's, I mean, it's, on a scale of one to 10, what would you say as far as the difficulty of doing this? I mean, as a business, because you've owned, I mean, you're an entrepreneur too. You're not just man, a, From my experience, I would say a four or five. Uh, it, it just happened pretty easy for me. But like I said before, I can't take the credit. Uh, you remember the first time you ever rode around with me and my wife and you started yes. showing us techniques and we started yes. putting things in place? Chris was in the car maybe 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes with us, and we already started getting calls. My wife was getting calls on her phone. And it happened so quick. Yes. We got nervous. We didn't know what to, to say. Do. We handed the phone to you. Yeah, you handed the phone <laughs> to me in the back seat and yeah. I had to take the call. Yeah. I, so, I mean, uh, not difficult if you're willing to put in and just just try. I mean, if you're willing yeah. to just try, he he can he but, can put you on the. Well, first we, we don't we don't want to sell him a bill of goods and say it's easy because it's work. No, you do have to. You have it's to put like, the time in, and you got to put the effort in. Yeah, yeah. You you can't just put stuff out there and expect it to just come to you. You got to you got to go and get it. Right. You got to exactly. hustle. That's yep. why you call it hustle wholesaling. That's guess, right. right. That's exactly right. But it, it, the, the, the sweet thing about it is, if you're willing to hustle, and try and work at it a little bit, you can be very successful.
and it just it just kind of compounds, man. It starts yeah. building and, and momentum. You gain momentum. And, momentum. And I, mean, I remember you told me that at the beginning, you know, like you'll see when you start building the pipeline up and you start building momentum, and it's like all of a sudden it just took exploded, off. Exploded, you know? yeah. yeah. And exactly. And it exploded for him. I mean, like I said, we got we got the checks to prove it, guys. It's it's pretty incredible that you know. And I wanted to bring Josh on here, you know, not to brag, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, I wanted to show him off more or less because, I mean, he's a successful <laughs> student. But, you know, I wanted him to brag because this is awesome, guys. I mean, you can do this part-time and still make money. You know, it's, um, Ruben, you made a good point, my brother. Not everybody is built for a 10x life. You're right. I mean, look, that's like saying everybody can be an entrepreneur. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and say anybody. No, not everybody can do this. If you have... A little bit of marketing money, you know, a marketing budget. If you have the right mindset, like you have a killer mindset to where like you're gonna like you're gonna do this regardless of what happens, like you're gonna like you just decide, like I'm gonna do this and make this work, then yes, you can make and, and you gotta have the right skill set, right? You gotta have good communication skills. You gotta learn how to talk to people, and that's what I help you with, because I mean some of these things are um, you know, it, it's it, it's a little tricky sometimes and where I come in as a coach is this is a situational business and Josh can tell you this. Not every deal is the same. Like you're gonna have something that happens. Like man, I got this is happening. Like I don't know how right. to handle it. You know, and that's right. where you can hit me up. Like I service my students big time. If you have if you have a problem, you can hit me up on on Voxer. You can you know if you get into my high end program, you have my personal cell number. Like Josh, Josh is, has unlimited access to me. Josh can come hang out at my house. He comes riding with me on appointments. Yeah. Come to my office. You know that's where the value is, guys. I mean, I will service. I, you. I can tell you too. I, I've rode around with him a good bit and his phone is constantly ringing and I, I don't think i've ever called him and if, and if he doesn't answer it's because he's on his phone yep but i don't think i've ever called chris and he didn't call me back within like five minutes yep, yep. so i mean what he's saying is true he, he's going to be there for you he's going to give you all the support you need most definitely yeah yep, absolutely yeah. Well, cool, Gene. Uh, we got Gene, O'Neill, Tyler, Chris. What's up, Jody? Any questions while I have one of my students on here? If you have any questions for him or you know anything you guys want to talk about, Happy New Year, Chris. I appreciate that, buddy. How's the mechanic shop going? I just sold mine, by the way. I uh, I know you you still grinding. I see your your stuff on Facebook, still taking out engines and uh, brake jobs. That's awesome. Jody, what's going on? But guys, look, if you want to learn this, look, it's not rocket science. We're not splitting atoms. We're not flying to the moon. We're just marketing to motivated sellers, right? And we're, um, we're finding people who need to sell their house fast. We're willing to you know, trade out equity in order for us to save them time. And we, uh, you know, we trade value. You know? I get them out of their situation and they get to sell their house fast. I get a house heavily discounted and I can either keep it as a rental, I can wholesale it, I can wholesale it, or I can flip it, right? It, it, this is why you should start with wholesaling. Wholesaling is the fundamental, it's the fundamentals of real estate investing. If you don't know how to find a deal, you're not gonna be a good real estate investor. I mean, Josh, I mean, if, if you were trying to get, I mean, just think about the deals that you got that were so cheap. I mean, this guy bought a, this guy bought a deal for 2,500 bucks. Right. That in, was in my hometown. In, in, in his hometown. Town I grew up in. <laughs> and it was, you got it for that was, 20. That was pretty cool. The, the, you know, the first deal I ever made was in the, my hometown. In his hometown. So. 2,500 bucks. It was probably worth, what, 30? Yeah. 25? 30, 35. Yeah. And it was obviously a super motivated seller. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, you. I'm sure they weren't upset that you bought it for so cheap. You helped no, them out. And, no, they were. In, in fact, uh, <laughs> true story. They wanted two thousand for the house. I said, "No, I'm gonna give you twenty five. You gave him more. <laughs> yeah. Listen to that, guys. He gave him more. That's how bad they wanted to sell it. Well, that, That's you, how bad they wanted to sell it. Well, you bring up a good point. I, I'll get some people that don't understand my business. Tell me, Chris, like you, you must take advantage of people. How do people sell you the house for half of what it's worth, guys? People need to sell their house. Sometimes they have situations where they can't wait six months or three months for a realtor. Like they need to sell within two weeks, right? And the, and this is where somebody like me or Josh can come in there and get their house in a contract and actually, you know, help them. And it, it, it's a win-win for everybody. They get out of their, their situation. You get a house heavily discounted and everybody wins. But let's, let's go back to the fundamentals, though. I mean, if you don't know how to find a deal, Josh, I mean, if, if you're trying to flip a house or you're trying to be a landlord, if you don't know how to find a deal. Right. 
How, you, you, can't, not, you can't do it. You can't do it. The deals are no, not on MLS. Do, you'll be doing like I used to do. You Me know, too. Just yeah. Coming across them by luck. By luck. Know? Right. But when you have this technology or this art of finding heavily discounted properties using different marketing strategies that I teach you, you get all these heavily discounted deals. I mean, you could literally buy deals for half of what they're worth and turn them into rental. And then look, even if you don't want to wholesale, you know, I keep a lot of these deals as rentals. I just bought another one, by the way. In for a rental? Unis. Yeah. It, yeah. Was, it was a lead that you gave me. Oh, that uh, a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I want to keep that one as a rental. Okay. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> All right. Um, so, but yeah, but that that's a good point. You know, from the leads that we get, if you're going to become a landlord, you know, I used to, before as a professional wholesaler, I was getting my deals off of MLS, which are, you can get okay deals on MLS, but the real deals are off market, right? So I would buy deals for like 75, 80 cents on the dollar, which are okay, you know? But looking back now, like, you know, it's like, shit, man, I buy these deals for so cheap now. I wish I'd have really doubled down on keeping and buying the deals, you know, that, that I know how to do now because the ones I bought back then are really not that good of deals compared to what I buy now, right? I mean, what I buy now is ridiculous. So, so cheap. Hey, what's up, Vic? So, um, you know, it's just, it, it's the cornerstone. It's, it's the art of capturing value is what wholesaling, it's, you know, in equity. And it, 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 you become, what happens is you become the source of the deal, right? Gene, what's up, my brother? Gene's from one of my students. Vic's one of my students. I appreciate the, the comments. Um, you know, you become the source of the deal because once you become the source of the deal, you can you have an exit strategy because it, it, you have to have a deal first to better do anything with it, to better flip it, to better wholesale it, to better hotel or keep it as a rental. It has to be a deal. And that's what wholesaling brings you. It makes you the source of the deal. And you capture the most equity going in, you buy it for half of what it's worth. You'll keep it. You can either keep it as a rental, which he just did on one that I, a lead I just sent him. Um, you know, and, and what'd you get it for? I mean, tell us that that deal. Twenty five. Twenty five thousand. Yeah. What is it probably worth? Oh, uh, the 50? house appraises for fifty five, sixty somewhere around there. Wow. So so that that was it was forty fifty cents. Forty the fifty cents. And the, the, the people act. It was a house that was for their parents, mm -hmm. so they kind of inherited it, and they had it appraised and they put it on the market for like sixty. And sat on it a while. Yeah, I went in there and uh, you know, what would that deal rent for? Oh, that's six seven hundred a month. Where it's six seven hundred bucks yeah. a month. You paid twenty five grand for it. That's that's what that's probably about a 30 percent return on investment on twenty five grand. If you get how much you said seven fifty, you can get six fifty seven hundred. Oh, six fifty seven, and you pay twenty. Yeah, that's about yeah. a thirty percent return. I mean, that's yeah. guys. I mean, if he wasn't. A professional wholesaler and I wasn't a professional wholesaler, I would have never been able to find that deal for so cheap, you know? No. I mean, you can't no say that. I mean, we, you might get one, like you said, that just falls in your lap. Right. But I mean, we get these deals well, I consistently. Think, I think the biggest difference is, is the other way around, you're out actively looking for deals. Uh, the techniques and the way, the things that you've taught me, I have people Call, chasing, chasing you. me. Yeah, asking. That's the difference the deals between. Deals are coming to me. I'm not actually trying to go and like, man, we're going to find a deal. Well, like that's what I teach, you know, stop chasing motivation. Have motivation chase you. You want, you want to use inbound marketing, right? Have people. I don't want to go around chasing all kind of people. You know, I mean, nothing against some of these strategies, but, you know, let's look at, I mean, nothing. I know some people are going to disagree, but direct mail. I, I have gotten deals off of direct mail. I still do direct mail, but all the gurus are teaching direct mail hard, hard, hard. And there's a lot of people making a lot of money doing it. However, if you mail out 10,000 letters, right, you know how many phone calls you're going to get for 10,000 letters? Probably at least... On 10,000, you're probably going to get a couple hundred calls. That's a lot of work to answer the calls. Right. Right. Now, maybe 1% or 2% of that may even be motivated, and then another 1% or 2% of those that, that called may turn into a deal. So you may only get one or two deals out of those two. Right. Now, if the, the marketing strategies that I teach you, if you take $10,000 on the techniques that I teach you, probably half of those is going to get way more deals yeah. than basically sending out 10,000 yeah, letters. It, it's, it's, it's chasing purely you. It's purely motivated people. It's purely motivated. Exactly. You. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. Well, the word I was looking for is qualified leads. It's way, way more qualified. So, anyway, guys, y'all have any questions? Uh, let's see. We've got um, Eric. What's going on? I appreciate that, Eric. It's an extra right here, Tyler. I appreciate that. Let's see, Justin. Yo, Chris, how many deals can you pull off in a year with what you know? Man, that's relative. I mean, depends on the market. Um, we'll probably do close to 100 deals this. Well, I'm, I think I'm pretty sure we did close to 100 deals last year, if not a little bit more. We were averaging probably 10, 15 deals a month. 
some months we did probably six or eight, but on average I would say it was about 10 to 12. Um, but it, it's really relative. I mean, if you're in a small, small town um, with only 100,000 people, I mean, you're not going to be able to freaking do, you know, 100 deals. I mean, if you're in a smaller town, you want to work multiple markets. I would, I would work two or three different markets. Um, Chris says, plowing snow today, had to close for the day. Real estate is much more better. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Chris is a guy from up north. He has a mechanic shop too. So it's all snowed in, but I'm trying to get him in the program. But he, he's uh, stuck on turning wrenches. And I know that feeling, my brother. Turning wrenches is a grind. So anyway, let's see. Any more questions? Brandon, what's going on? But anyway, okay, Jane. Jancy, does your program work in a competitive market like LA? I mean, look, LA is, is a different animal. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, oh, my program is magical and it's going to make you get all kind of deals. LA is a different animal. It's, it's so high end, it's so competitive that can you get deals? Yes, but I think you're going to have to get deals in the outskirts of LA. I don't think it's going to be directly, directly in town. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get deals. You're probably going to have to do, go hard with um, online marketing to get deals. Over there because it's just dude the market is so it's so different it's like a different country over there Chris Douglas says Chris I need to set up a call with you I'm a first-time landlord this year and I want to expand my real estate absolutely Eric listen if you are a landlord I'm a landlord dude I own a lot of property I own about 10 million dollars worth of real estate wholesaling will 10x your landlord business with so much with you know so many sweet deals like he like he got a deal for 25 grand worth 60 I mean I mean, you're going to have a, a, a 60% equity position on your deals. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you could fill up your roster pretty quick if you wanted to keep some rental property. And, and get monster returns because right. you're buying them for you so cheap. You don't have a lot invested in them yet. You're buying them for so cheap. Yeah. So, Eric, do that, Eric. Go to chrisrude.com or you can inbox me on Facebook, Eric, and uh, I can maybe set up a call with you directly. But you can go to chrisrude.com or just inbox me and book a call. Uh... Keegan, what about Florida? Yeah, Keegan, I, I can definitely help you in Florida. I mean, Florida is a competitive market too, but it's not like LA. LA is a different animal. Um, but no, I can definitely help you. I, I mean, I know a lot of people doing deals in Florida. Um, we got a few, I think we have two students in our program that are from Florida, one in Orlando and one, I think, by Miami. But absolutely, look, I mean, even if you don't want to wholesale, it's not just about wholesaling. If you just want to find deals to flip or become a landlord, I mean, look, wholesaling is a means to an end. It, you, you wholesale to get into flipping and then to get into what? Buy and hold. Because that's how you're going to generate and build wealth. I mean, we can't, I mean wholesaling is a hustle. You can't hold, we can't wholesale until we're 70 years old. No. I mean, you want to you wholesale to get all your own deals. You can keep them in your portfolio, maybe build up a, right. a portfolio of maybe 100 deals or 50, whatever you feel like is comfortable for your your income that you want to retire on, you know, my goal is to have, shit, I want to, I want to have thousands, you know, eventually. Right. I mean, that's it, it, across the South. I mean, I want to have a lot of single family homes, but I wouldn't better do that as fast if I didn't have a pipeline of deals, right? If I didn't have a, a huge pipeline of deals coming through, I wouldn't better find that many deals that fast on MLS. So, Veronica, what about North Carolina? North, I love North Carolina. North Carolina is a hot market, Veronica. So anyway, guys, do you, any of you guys want to come on live? Any of you guys have any questions for Joshua or me? You know, give me a thumbs up if you want to come on, and I'll bring you on. Josh, you have a few more minutes with sure. somebody to come yeah. on? Uh, do anything in Northwest Arkansas? No, I don't do anything in Arkansas, TJ. If you want to learn how, I'm sure that's, that's probably an untapped market, though, TJ. Go to chrisroot.com and book a call and see if we can't help you. But anybody want to come on live? I can take a you know somebody live, and we can uh, you can talk to me and Josh live. Ask Josh some questions about my program, or if he was satisfied. And look, I'm not bringing him on to be like you know these checks are real. I mean, they're not fake checks. Josh is a real dude. He was in my program. This isn't some scripted thing. Oh, hey, Josh, get over here. Let's print some checks up. Make it look like uh, <laughs> like like you're a student. No, like he's a real guy. You can you can hit him up on. Well, he's not on Facebook, but. You can uh, you can probably find him. Well, I would say find his wife, but we don't want you, anybody chasing your wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, he's a real dude. He's doing deals, making money, and he's actually you know he's actually a really successful guy. I mean, he's not just in wholesaling. He's he's a successful guy in general. He has a good job. Uh, he owns other companies. But but anyway, let's see, Keegan. So, how many are you wholesaling to get a rental? I think I understand your question. So, Keegan, basically, you know. 
you want to stack the cash, right? As you're wholesaling deals, you start making money and you start making, say, you know, 10, 20, 15, $30,000 a month as it gets higher and higher. You want to start taking and you can start buying some of your deals cash because if you're buying your deals for 30, 40 cents in a dollar, it may be a $50,000 property you're buying for 15, 20 grand. Just pay cash for it, turn it into a rental and get six, fifty, seven, fifty a month for it. You'll get all your money back within a year and a half, two years, you know? So um, I hope that answers your question, Keegan. Uh, Anyway, anybody want to come on? Anybody have any questions? But if you want to join my program, go to chrisrude.com. I think we have a few GrowthCon tickets left, not many. And by the way, if you're going to GrowthCon, even if you're on this, this feed and you, uh, you're not interested in wholesaling, I want to meet you. you know, I, want to, I want to meet you. I want to shake your hand and uh, you know, see if I can help you with your, your, your real estate business, not just wholesaling. I, I mean, I flip houses. We, I own, like I said, I own a lot of rental properties. I can help you with all that stuff. So, Rusty, what's going on? Anyway, guys, any final questions, concerns before I hang up or drop this feed? Sean, what are the average age demographics that are working for you for FP ads? Sean, I, would, I, I think we're, we're, we're targeting like 28 to like 70, you know? 28 because I mean anybody below 28 years old is typically not going to have a whole lot of equity in their property because they just bought it probably three or four years ago. I would say 28, 30 and above would probably be the best. Um, now, as you get higher, if you get into 65, 70, a lot of those people are not on Facebook, but some of them actually are. I've gotten a few Facebook leads from really older people. But Carlos, what's going on? Hope that answers your question, Sean. Anyway, Joshua, you have any final thoughts or? Anything you want to say before we end this live? Uh, I, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody for listening to me. And, man, this is probably the, the best thing I've ever done in my life. And on top of it, I'm having fun. You know? Yeah, it's a blast. That's the coolest part. It is a fun You meet business. so many people and you get in so many different situations. It's just, it's awesome. It's a yeah. good time and you make a lot of money doing it. So. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. A couple more questions. Eric, thanks, Chris. I'll set up a call. Look forward to talking more with you. Awesome, Eric. Uh, James Ski, I'm trying to get into this LA market, but it's not looking too good for me. Yeah, but it, it's a tough market, my brother. It, it's definitely a different market. So, anyway, guys, I'm gonna call it a night and um, look forward to helping you. Like I said, ChrisRude.com. Follow me. Look, and if you don't have a lot of money, but you're a hustler and you want to get in the program later, go to my YouTube channel. I give away tons of free content. Go to ChrisRude and subscribe to my channel. And there's tons of free good content on there. So don't get stressed out if you're a young guy and don't have a lot of money. You know, I still want to help you. I mean, like I said, go to YouTube. So anyway, guys, y'all have a good night. And uh, let's make 2018 your best year yet. Peace.